Yo, what's good, everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. We got some unfortunate news. Steelers are trading Melvin Ingram to the Chiefs in exchange for a six-round pick. Obviously not happy about this one. Not thrilled at all. We're helping an AFC contender. As much as the Chiefs are struggling, they're 4-4 four four right now, they're at least going to be in the mix for the AFC wild card. And who knows how dangerous they can be as the season goes if they can start riding the ship. So there's that. Also, Melvin Ingram provides really good depth for our edge rush group. He was the third guy after TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith. And we saw earlier in the season when there was a rotation, it was legitimately a three-headed monster. Now we have Taco Charlton, who got like 10 snaps, eight or 10 snaps last week, and Tuska to back up TJ Watt and Highsmith. If everything's optimal, TJ Watt, Highsmith, they're healthy. They get 90% 90 to 100% of the snaps. This isn't that much of a concern, but it does kind of hurt trading him to an AFC contender. But we may have had no other option because Melvin Ingram was obviously unhappy. We saw the report even yesterday where it was either further noted or discussed that he was unhappy because he thought he was better than Alex Highsmith. So it probably wasn't going to work out for the rest of the season, Melvin Ingram and the Steelers. So we were trying to find a trade partner, as we see in the quote tweet here over the past few weeks. If we couldn't trade him to an NFC team, if we couldn't trade him to another AFC team that is maybe less of a threat in the playoffs, we may have had no other option. I would have loved it if we could have traded him to the Rams. They obviously just traded for Vaughn Miller, a second and third round pick. Rams could have got Melvin Ingram for six. That sounds like a little bit of a better deal, in my opinion. Maybe Vaughn Miller's still a better player, but for just a six-round pick as opposed to trading both your day two picks next year, Melvin Ingram might have been a better value. Then we could have maybe got Deshaun Jackson back. I still got my fingers crossed that the Steelers will make a deal for him. That probably won't happen. But this move kind of sucks because it hurts us in terms of our edge rush depth. And it helps the Chiefs a little bit who have been struggling. Uh, at least we got a six-round pick, though. Maybe we would have released them anyway after the trade deadline, and then we would have got nothing in return. That's kind of my opinion on it. It's just a lose-lose scenario. Because if you keep Melvin Ingram, he's obviously stated his unhappiness. You don't really want that in your organization, in your locker room. And then if you move on from him, you lose your edge rush depth. And we also traded him to an AFC, uh, I guess you could say contender, or a team that's going to be in the playoff mix. So, yeah, we'll see him week 14, 15, I guess. It sucks. There's really not too much else to say about this one. The Ingram signing was looking so much more promising early in the season. But this is how it played out. And this is what the Steelers did. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We'll be talking about it on the podcast today. We got the Zach Banner interview, so we'll be chopping it up about this for probably the 10 minutes before we interview him. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay chilling. Peace.